Nikki Mitchell from the University of West Australia and I'm a, a herpetologist. I sort of work on the physiology and the potential of species to changing climates. The main problems for the swamp turtle are its habitats disappeared. It was always probably a very rare species, but when it was rediscovered in 1950s, by then a lot of the good swamp area had been cleared for agriculture and mining. So it's only ever had one or two tiny reserves near Perth and those reserves um, are probably never going to sustain big populations. We need to look for other sites, translocation sites. The other problem that we're anticipating is the climate shift in southwestern Australia is, is underway already. So we, we know that the rainfall is less than it was in the 1950s and it's maybe only now allowing the swamps in some years to have half the water they might have had 50 years ago. So we're trying to understand where the swamp turtle might be able to persist in the future when the climate in West Australia is drier and hotter. So we're testing out a site down here on the south coast, which we know is pretty cold, but in 50 years might be perfect. This particular project was sort of a collaboration with DPCA and UWA for about a decade, but this new research is, is partly of the Threatened Species Recovery Hub initiative to really look at the possibility of assisted colonisation for this species. Each turtle has been fitted with a radio transmitter so we can find it and also it's carrying a small tag that is recording every minute its temperature, its dive depth and whether or not it's wet or dry so that allows us to recreate every day what its behaviour is. So when is it basking, when is it in the water feeding and when is it probably resting at the bottom in the deep water. So we're hoping that we can reconstruct every individual's behaviour for roughly a year and then compare the behaviours across these three release sites. The main research activities undertaken uh, really concentrate on the monitoring of re-established or re-established populations because uh, the known populations are in very small nature reserves now. My name is Gerald Kuchling and I work as a senior research scientist with the Department of Biodiversity Conservation and Attractions in Western Australia. It's been a successful translocation program for the last couple of decades, so about 800 have been released so far into translocation sites. All this is part of the recovery program for the Western Swamp Tortoise, uh, which has now been running for close to 30 years. Turtles are bred at Perth Zoo. The breeding program at Perth Zoo for the Western Swamp Tortoises started in 1989, so we've been going for almost 30 years now, with our first release taking place in 1994. Over the years we have bred over a thousand individuals and we've released over 700 back into the wild. So Perth Zoo's goal is to breed as many animals as we can and we work in collaboration with Parks and Wildlife who takes care of the releases for us. They monitor the reserves out in the wild and make sure everything's going well out there. I generally like turtles uh, for a very long time since I was a small kid and the Western Swamp Turtle uh, somehow turned out to be one of the most interesting turtles I ever worked with. They, they are cryptic, they are not very colourful, they are hard to find, they are small, but they are very unique in many respects, as the whole biology is. And uh, so even after more than 30 years of working with them and doing research to find out uh, more about their biology. Uh, it's still interesting and challenging for me to do this work. And uh, so I very enjoy working with them. I feel very fortunate that I'm able to work with such an interesting and lovable species.